Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking. And learn you go. What the hell? Hmm? What the? Okay, what was all that about? Well, I'm using a jump cut. It's one of those things that you see on YouTube all the time. Even the top YouTubers use jump cuts. And if you've been watching me over the past few years, you know that I hate them. Mainly because I love editing and I feel like it's a lazy way of editing. I've actually covered how to improve your cutting and editing in this video right here. And it's as simple as just scaling up your footage. So cutting into a close up when you need to make an edit. Now, there is another way you can actually improve your edit. And it's really, really easy. And that's the use of transitions. Now, what do I mean by transitions? Well, check this out. <gasps> that was a transition. So was this. Hey, we're back. One more. <gasps> Hi. This is starting to make me a little bit queasy. Maybe one more. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to slow down with the transitions for now. Basically, a transition is away from transitioning from one shot to another. So what if I was to tell you there was a pack that had all of these transitions plus like 990 more. My God. Exactly. All of these transitions were actually from the same pack and it's quite easily the best transition pack I have ever seen. There is over 1000 options for transitions in this one pack and it's actually called Handy Seamless Transitions from a producer called Video Lancer. And the even cooler thing about this pack, you know, apart from the transitions, it actually comes with an After Effects extension called Motion Bro, which allows you to preview all these animations, control their speed, control the direction of where they go, and easily comp them into your footage. And not only that, you can use it in Premiere Pro as well via the dynamic link to After Effects. So enough of that jibber jabber from me, let's jump into After Effects and see how this thing works. <laughs> Okay guys, here we are in After Effects, and as you can see, I have my comp that's actually set up from the episode where I added these transitions from the Handy Seamless Transition Pack. And, as we can also see over here, the Motion Bro extension is already installed and it's open and ready to go. Now, say I didn't have it open and I magically closed it. Let's head over to Window, down to Extensions, and open up Motion Bro. And, there it is. Now guys, I'll quickly mention on the Video Lancer channel, which we have a link to in the description, they actually have a really good tutorial on how to install this, so I really didn't feel like stepping on their feet and just, you know, redoing the same thing again and again. And you may also notice that I'm rambling a little bit, and that's because I didn't write a script for this, because this effect is so damn easy. So, let's get started, shall we? Now, I just want to show you something really, really quick, because there's a couple of different ways that you can add a transition. You can add a transition to every single cut if you want using only one move. So if we hit Control A, head into Handy Seamless Transitions, head to say Camera, and let's just grab the first one we see here. Now you can see that it gives you a really cool preview of it. And if we unfurrow that again, you can see we have a whole bunch of previews of different directions. This is how this gets up to 1,000 different transitions because not only can you control the direction of the transition, you can also control the speed of the transition. So this is the average one that it has, and just at 100%, but we can also go to 25%, which is a hell of a lot faster, or we can go to 160%, which is a damn sight slower. So just for, for instance, let's just keep it on 100%, and we'll just click on this one right here. And as you can see now, it has added a transition to every single one of our clips here. So we'll just bust this down to say a quarter. There's our first transition. There's our second transition. There's our third transition. And well, you get the idea. So let's just undo that because we don't want to do that. We want to customize this just a little bit more than that. And here's our second way that we actually add a transition, guys. If we select any single clip here, it will automatically add that transition to the cut right here. Okay? So, for example, what I added in my original episode was a pan simple here. So in this instance, I want to make it a little bit faster, so I'm going to hit 55%. And of course, I'm performing an action where I'm pulling the screen up, so let's do an up. Okay, let's just check out what that looks like. And as you can see, that works pretty damn good. And what did that take us? Look, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and that was just to choose one. So, 
let's move on to the next one. That's how easy this is, guys. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. So the next one I'm performing an action where I'm swiping from right to left. So in this instance, we want to pan simple again. I might just make this one say, let's go 100%. And then we just want to pan right. And let's check out a preview. Works great. Let's just add one more. Let's, for example, grab a different one. Let's go up to, say, Flight 2. And let's... Let's use this one. So once Dexter touches the camera, we can flap back in. <laughs> Whoop. Okay, so that one might be a little bit long. So all we need to do is just undo that. And we'll maybe make it a little bit faster. And add it back in again. So you can see now, it's much smaller. Yep, much better. So let's jump forward again. You can see I've got this hmm action. Hmm. Hmm. Double up. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's just genuinely disturbing. So let's go down to say distortion zoom this time. Let's head down to power. And let's see, we've got it on 55. Let's just try this. Okay, ready? Hmm. Nice. So you can see guys, in just a few short minutes, we've added damn near all the transitions that we need for this scene. Also, now I'll just unmute. There we go. Now, if we do a preview now, you'll be able to hear that it's actually added sound effects to our comp automatically. Check this out. Pretty cool, huh? And that's just how damn easy this thing is, guys. Now, guys, I have barely scratched the surface of how many transitions there are in here. We've got film transitions, we've got fisheye transitions, we've got flares, we've got glitches, we've got kaleidoscopes, we've got lens zooms, we've got particles. We have got an absolute crap load. All up, I think there's nearly 1,200 transitions here, guys. So you'll pretty much never run out of transitions if you grab this pack. And the best part is, two of these are actually free. The simple one here and the glitch one here are 100% free on the Video Lancer website. You can also grab Motion Bro for free as well. So you can actually test this thing out before you actually buy it. Still getting used to that. So guys, that's the Handy Seamless Transition Pack from Video Hive and Video Lancer. If you want to check out more tutorials on the Handy Seamless Transition Pack, and the Motion Bro preset, or you just want to see how this works in CS6, just check out the link in the description. Now guys, full disclosure, Video Hive does sponsor the show via an affiliate program, so if you do click that link below and pick up the Handy Seamless Transition Pack, you will be helping to support the show, and you'll get a cool transition pack. So it's win-win all around. But for now guys, that's all i got for you. We have some really exciting episodes coming up, including some Avengers Infinity War ones. Uh, no spoilers until the episode comes out. But if you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it. And hey, if you are new here, why not join the 94,000? Okay, that screen's gone off because I've been talking too long, but you can hit that subscribe button and join the 94,360 odd subscribers that we have. And make sure you turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film in an episode. I've got two other episodes right over here. I've got a playlist right here. And my social media crap is above my head with the Facebook and the Twitter. And until I see you again, guys, Keep learning.